this is the Swedish guitar nerd. And today I'm gonna do a demo of something you can use pretty portable uh, with your phone or your iPad. It's the mobile pod from Line 6. And this is an introduction video and then I will do a video where I show the amp models and then I will show another video where I do the, the effects. Uh, yeah, so this is basically having a, their famous Line 6 for the pods, that's what made them really big. Uh, small amplifier emulators with some effects built in and this is what they've tried to put into this app, basically. That's what it is. Uh, this only works if you have a uh, Line 6 interface that you connect to your iPhone, iPad. I have uh, the old one, the mobile in, which is discontinued for good reasons. Uh, I mean, if you stick this to your, I'm using it with an iPad. It's a giant box and then you have a cable going out of it and then you have this small connection from the cable. You can't use a regular guitar cord. Well, they changed. Now they have the sonic port. And uh, that has solved all those issues because then you can, yeah, it's connected with a wire and not like the box where it happens is not connected to the computer. Oh, sorry, the iPad or the iPhone. Um, and the input jack is a regular size one, so you can use your normal guitar cable. Uh, yeah, I will do, in this video, I will show you uh, the, the things I usually do when I do my reviews. I'll have a clean sound, a uh, slight low driven sound, and then a high gain sound, just to show something of what this mobile pod can do. Uh, the amp sounds are pretty good to me. They sound rather good. They are focused, as with all Line 6 pro products, on like mid gain and high gain. That's what they do best, and that's the same thing with their amps. It's really hard to get a decent, good, clear, clean sound, in my opinion. And it's the same here. Well, you'll hear for yourselves. Um, Another thing that's not that good, it has uh, some effects. It has chorus flange, compressor, noise gate, reverb, delay, even a wall that's kind of hard to control. It's basically a fixed wall. And that's nice, really good. But where's the distortion? Look at a pedal board of anyone, any person in the world. What will you find? Some kind of overdrive or distortion. There's none here. And another thing is that you can't put the effects in whatever order you want. For instance, the reverb only fits into one. There are like slots where you can put the effects and it only goes in one. And the same with the noise gate that for some strange reason you only can use in front of the amp, not after like I would use it at least because you want to take away the bus from the amp. Uh, another thing about the effects, the modulation effects are over the top. I can't use them at all. It's like the chorus, the flange, it's even if you turn off the level of them, the depth, there's still too much of it. So if you turn it up, I'll show you in the video and the video about the effects. It's just too much. So they are pretty unusable, which is a sad thing because I like to have some chorus on my sounds. Yeah. Well, well. Uh, it's a cheap way, I suppose, to get all these sounds. I got the mobile in since they are discontinued. You can get them really cheap now. If you want to try this, get one of those. What's really nice as well is that you can use the mobile in or the sonic port with other guitar and em amp emulators. Uh, 
as I will show you in other videos. And that's neat. Uh, yeah. Let's go then. Uh, what else have I to say? Yeah, there's a built-in tuner. That's good. Always comes in handy. Uh, so, yeah. Let's go. I'm going to do a clean sound, a dirty sound, and then a high gain sound. Here you go. One final thing uh, about the mobile pod. Um, there's one thing that's really a problem with it, and that's the latency. In other words, the time from when you play to when you hear it. And there is a delay. It's not like instant. And that is a problem. So you can't use it. I wouldn't never use this app live, for instance. It's impossible because there is like this. The microseconds are too many. You can really actually experience the lag of it. It's like you play and then the sound comes. Big thing to point out. 
Yes, this has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd demoing the Line 6 mobile pod. I hope you found this useful. See you soon.